And they wanted a statement, but they also wanted a building that was very contextual within the campus. So what we did as design firms is that we study uh, the architectural elements that Cesar Pelli developed. So if you look, we follow the same material palette that he used, but we evolved that material palette to a certain extent. We assign a purpose to each one of those materials. Does um, the hospital or the bed tower gets the glass? It's a glass volume. The frame that encloses it is a lighter granite. The base of the building, before you, when you see any of the other buildings, the building just hits the ground. There's never a kind of a base condition right. and then a tower condition. So in our case, the dark granite is used to create a base. So the C shape really allows wonderful views to uh, Lake Erie and downtown. So that was one of the drivers of the C shape. So why don't we walk around here? Okay. You know, reception desk, main storing lobby. So as, you, as you come in, views into the different outlets, and really these being conceived as the main living room okay. of the of the facility. So mm -hmm. it's kind of the formal waiting area. We we felt like you know that we needed to animate this space because if we just have a lobby for people to to see it with nothing for them, no reason for them to come here. You need to <coughs> provide all those needs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, stimulation. One of one of the things that we also thought about as you see in the waiting areas, the groupings are always four or eight. So and it is so you know it's, it's it's a site that people feel comfortable to engaging in a conversation with another. So two, four, uh, six or eight. This is actually uh, the great hall here. It's a, sp it's a space that happens between this is the heart center here. Ligman Tower, and it's a space that is going to be used for a mul multitude of activities, you know, primarily a civic of art, but also here is a place where the clinic can uh, host activities for fundraising and so forth. It's also a place where the, uh, the Cleveland Clinic community can gather for an, an address from the CEOs. This is by Inigo Manglano Valle, which is a Spanish uh, artist. So this is actually uh, uh, a three-dimensional map of, a, of an iceberg. You know, ironically, kind of looks like a <laughs> like a heart. <laughs> yeah. So I think that was that also influenced uh, the selection. It's just a non-denominational space. As you can tell, you know, it's a space that is inboard, so it doesn't have access to natural day daylight. So one of the things that we were trying to do is give a sense of uh, depth to the wall, so you you never see where the lighting, you never see the light source. Mm -hmm. So you know, the light is always coming from behind the wall, so it gives a sense of uh, uh, depth to the space. In this particular floor, uh, which is the VIP, um, we have two types of rooms. Every room has a patient room side and a sitting side to it. However, the sitting rooms have been designed so it can be immediately turned into a patient room oh, really? if needed. Very much like a hotel, hotel suite but it offers the convenience right, the gases. of the gases. And even to conceal the gases, there's two schools of thought. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Some facilities say, let it be what it is, we're a hospital, so mm -hmm. everything's exposed and there's no efforts, because we had to build this out in the detail of the cabinetry. Mm -hmm. This facility said, you know, let's try to let that be um, a little bit camouflaged, take a little bit of the edginess away to not have to look at all the equipment. Mm -hmm. So different people can think. We like the idea to, we, we personally, mm -hmm. in terms of, a space feeling more residential, more soothing. I right. think it's nice to hide all the scary equipment. This is a typical patient room. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's very classic, contemporary design um, that is timeless. Um, modern as an aesthetic approach was really seen as a wider, uh, a way to address a wider audience. Because you know, the, art, um, the market of the clinic that the clinic reaches it's not only in Ohio, right. it's, it's the world. In the Midwest, you'll see a lot of projects, especially, you know, published that are very much um, colonial. And, re, you know, putting in some of the mahogany and the cherry and a little bit of the influence from the English colonies because it's popular in people's homes, mm -hmm. predominantly in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. East and West, you get a little more contemporary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a fine line to draw to not lose the warmth. Like we said, the sleeper sofas are now all over the map. Five, six years ago, maybe two companies were making them. Now mm -hmm. many people are realizing, whoa, this is big business. 
not too many rooms can afford to have the bed pull out like we do in yeah, our homes, so the traditional sleeper sofas. So a lot of the futon concepts we'll see mm -hmm. in today's manufacturers.